Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing his and her stocking stuffers. Um, you know I'm getting into the Christmas spirit. I'm already picking out things for myself, my friends, everybody involved. Even I'm throwing uh, together a little tiny holiday party with some of my friends. So it's going to be a fun season. So I thought I would just share some ideas that I would normally put into a stocking for either my significant other, if I had a brother, my dad, etc. These two stockings are not specific to anybody in my family. Um, I just thought that they would be great ideas because also I don't want to share my boyfriend's stocking because he might actually be watching this video. So I don't want to give too much away, but again, let's get into the video. So let's start off with the male stocking. So I have two red stockings. These I actually used two years ago for me, or two years in a row with me and my boyfriend. We had two matching red ones. I'm not really sure where I got these at. I think Target. They're just really plain knitted stockings. I know that they have way better ones out there now. The two in the back, as you guys can see, the two top ones are mine and my boyfriend. So D for David, Serena or S for Serena. And then I have two matching cat ones because I have two cats. So shout out to my little babies. Okay, so let's start off with the male one like I mentioned. Again, um, in no way is this one sponsored. <laughs> two, um, is this specifically telling you to get these items or you know these are just items that i find useful for an everyday male person um and yeah let's get into it so the first one is ooh, an amc gift card um this one just has ten dollars on it sometimes if you're an amc prime member i want to say it's either five or six dollars on tuesdays i can't remember if you use your little steps card but if this if you are a person or you know the person goes to the AMC or watches movies a lot this is always a great idea also cash is a fun idea let's get into the other one what I have here is the Jack Black turbo wash performance ready it just smells really nice it's rosemary eucalyptus and juniper berry if this male is somebody who likes essential oils or something that's very natural scented instead of the typical man smell which is like more cologne oriented i'd probably say definitely get him something similar to this this is actually not that expensive it's ten dollars you can get that at, uh, you get this at nordstrom rack um and that's where i got this one from so Definitely recommend this if he wants to try something new. Okay, here I have some Calvin Klein underwear. So I had a pack of three. I think they were $19.95 at, they actually sell them at multiple places for $19.95. So they have them at Nordstrom Rack, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, and I'm sure even Ross has them. Um, so I just picked up a pair of three and normally I'd put all three in, but it's kind of a little filled. So wasn't able to put them um, all in. But I was able to put one in just for this video. And yes, I will be gifting this to him. He knows that. Whatever. <laughs> so underwear is always a good thing. I feel like underwear is a prime thing for multiple people. Especially if it's appropriate for whoever you're giving it to. So if you're sisters, if you're brothers, and you're giving it to your own brother and your brother. Or a sister and a sister, whatever. Or even your mom's giving you underwear. I see that. As a typical gift that most parents would do or even if you're dating somebody that's definitely appropriate as well snacks are a big thing that i love to add in stocking stepper st steppers <laughs> stuffers um normally i'll add candy such as like i don't know i actually have a couple here so let me show you what kind i normally put in so i'll put in linden truffles I think that they're super cute. They're wrapped really nicely. And the general milk chocolate ones are always festive for all year round. Mostly I like to use them specifically for Christmas just because they have the Christmas colors in them. So why not add them in? Throw a couple little circles or whatever shape these are, spheres. And they're really, really cute. Let me open them so I show you what I'm talking about if you haven't or are not familiar with these. So these truffles come in their own little package. Oh, I thought that was really cute. Now I have Twix. 
Again, they have every single type of candy you can ever imagine in the stores, but everybody loves a fucking Twix, so might as well just add them in. You know, they have festive ones going on, except, side note, I don't know, did they discontinue the little Reese's Bells? Because those are my favorite ones around Christmas time. So I love Reese's, Reese's, however you wanna pronounce it. I'm just gonna, gonna call them Reese's. So they have like the tree ones, they have like a mystery object, I don't really know. I went to Target yesterday and they had some weird shape ones that I wasn't familiar with. Or they have like the typical circle ones. Normally I'll get like the trees for my dad because he likes that like peanut butter to chocolate ratio. <laughs> Um, I'm more of like a chocolate to peanut butter ratio, so I like a little bit less peanut butter in mine. So the bells were always the perfect ratio for me, and I can't find them anywhere. So let me know if you know if they're discontinued, or maybe I'll Google it. <laughs> Who knows, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> Another item for the meal gift is I put pistachios in here. I think pistachios or any type of nuts are a great idea. Um, for a meal because they snack all the time um, This one has no shells, which I didn't even know that they made so cool shout out to this company wonderful um, They have no shells they're roasted and they're salted and I think this is better because you don't have to go through the hassling of cracking up a nut Just to eat it and then throw away or whatever you do with the shells um, And this way it's just easier to just grab a handful go on with your life so Fuck that fell. <laughs> okay, the next one is trail mix. So this one is very similar to um, the previous one. Still on that nut theme, you wanna call it. Um, this one is Tex-Mex. This is my dad's favorite. Um, also mine and my sister's. Shout out to you, Cynthia, if you're watching this video. Um, but we love this one. It has spicy peanuts, almonds, salsa corn sticks, sesame sticks, chili bits, and pepitas. I don't know what the heck that is, but it's bomb as fuck. So get yourself some Tex-Mex if you have not tried this. This is by Archer Farms. I think they only sell this at Target, if I'm mistaken. Sorry, but they might have this at another location that you're familiar with, but that's where I find this at. Okay. Let's see what else we got up in here. Santa sack. Okay. Skin repair body lotion 48 hour dry relief in one use. This is guaranteed relief. And this is by O'Keefe's. So this is for your hardworking male. If he's a handyman, a construction man, or even has rough hands, maybe even eczema or something like that. Um, I find this to be a really nice relief for men who have itchy and extremely dry hands. Um, this is normally $8.99. I saw this at Ralph's and a couple locations for $8.99. But when I went to Marshall's, um, they were $3.99. So they might be at your Marshall's. They might not, you know, you never know whenever you go to those stores. But I thought this was a really good steal. It was literally $4, maybe even $5 off. Um, so get just man some hand cream. Uh, now hand sanitizer. Um, I feel like Maybe this is my own stereotype of assumption, but a lot of guys do not wash their hands after the restroom. Maybe it's just not true. Maybe a lot of males do. Um, but even if you know your man is dirty, or your brother dirty, your dad dirty, and they need to wash their hands, hand sanitizer is a great replacement for that. Again, antibacterial hand gel throw it in their stocking, be like, boy, you need to wash them dirty hands. This is graphite for men specifically at Bed Bath, uh, who does this? Mixes up Bed Bath & Beyond and Bath & Body Works. I know that they're two different stores, but I always mix up their names. Um, but anyways, I got this hand gel slash hand sanitizer at um, Bath & Body Works because three for three, get your deals. Let's see what's in this goodie bag. Okay, now we got a little bigger item here. I kind of shoved this one in, so it's really hard to get it out. Um, a candle. So, of course, Bath & Body Works was having them deals this year. You know, candle day, get them for $9.50. Ooh, ooh, you get a deal. It's normally $24.50. So, if you miss that deal, you're going to have to wait till next year. Um, but this one is Mahogany Teakwood High Intensity. So, it's very fragrant. It smells like... What you would think a man would smell like other than ass but um <laughs> but this one definitely smells like 
your typical cologne or deodorant scent like very fragrant but you know that nice hardwood I don't even know how to describe that but yeah it's cute it's black it goes with some men's aesthetic I mean they have other colors I'm sure a lot of variety so I'm sure you could find a candle or something very similar uh, to whoever you're gonna give this stocking to now the next item is the crew pomade so this is for somebody who actually has hair my dad does it so this is definitely not going to him um, but this is for somebody who wants good textured hair like if you like massage it through and it's not gonna be you know dry hair and it's not going to be overly shiny hair it's just going to be nicely voluminous if that's what you want to call it uh, but this is definitely more so a medium hold so it's not going to hold it entirely and intensely where if you want it to stick up straight it's going to do that um it's definitely just going to make it a little bit more softer so this one's more of a pomade and I think it has a clear texture. It's more jelly formed other than the cream form. So I know sometimes these can go a little bit more expensive, like $10, $20 even for some of these, depending on the sizes. Um, but if you know the guy or male or teen who you're gonna get this stocking for, definitely change the options, like maybe Axe or maybe a cheaper brand or something that they normally use or you know that they use or something that they, you know that they want to try. So definitely got this. Now I think there's only a couple more items. So what I have here is two scratchers. These are I think only a dollar each. Um, if you're into scratchers, I know people are not into like the form of gambling or maybe it's not even legal in your state for specific ages, um, definitely don't get them, <laughs> don't don't get the gift. Um, but if you enjoy it and you think it's fun and you just wanna scratch and you know most of the time you're gonna lose anyways, but it's just the nice thrill to think that you're gonna get something out of these. Um, but these are only a dollar each, they're holiday sets, you know, the snowman, the present, you get the point. And they're just a fun little additive to your gift okay let's see what else we have in here if i could get the bottom i always feel like the bottom is so hard to get out okay and i think the last item here is socks these are the ones that i got they're by happy socks and i think i got them from nordstrom rack because they were on sale for five dollars so that concludes the male stocking and i think it's time to go on to the female stocking okay I got the female stocking. I'm just gonna hold it like a baby. So you see this already peeking through. You already know what it is, you little nasty. It's some underwear. So I'm gonna just show you to show you which ones I got. Um, they're just some Victoria's Secret ones. I know that there's a lot of cool brands that have other styles or maybe even holiday ones, but I just got these little pink ones. I think they were $16, but again, you can maybe find ones for five. Especially if you're like a mother getting them for a daughter who's like in their teens or a 20 year old or an adult. I think they're fine. I know me and my sisters always give each other underwear sometimes throughout the year, especially during the holiday season because them deals are racking up and you know Black Friday has so many deals. So that was a definitely a time to splurge. The next item is this single just cosmetic brush for your eyeshadow. Um, it's really fun. It has this ombre effect. Um, and I actually got this at the 99 cent store. They have so many options for these. So if you know somebody who loves makeup and, you know, they want to try new things, I think this is really fun. It might not be the best quality because, you know, you're only getting it for a dollar. But, hey, it's just a fun thing to add in somebody's collection and to try out. And I actually wanted to try it out myself. So that's why I got it. The next items are Lush. So I'm not a bath fan. Um, it's just not my thing. I hate soaking in water. It's weird. I'm not even a hot tub fan. Um, but for those who are, Lush is the place to go. Um, this lady I was talking to there recommended this for people like me. It's this little tiny shower bar and you 
I guess, run it under the hot water, wait until it gets foamy in your hands, and you use it as a body wash. So it's for people who are into showers, not so much the soaking in water kind of thing. But hey, it's a fun thing to add um, to people who are also not into baths. But if you are a bath lover, I have a bath bomb. These are so fun, they have in so many colors. And I got the one that is glittery. I'm probably gonna get this all over my room. It's already up in my, fuck, okay. It's already up in my nose. Um, clearly you can tell that I don't like glitter. Um, but this one is the goddess one, the one that's inspired by Ariana Grande. It's milky, it's pink, or, what am I talking, am I fucking colorblind? It's milky and purple. Um, it has a couple of more grayer um, lavender tones into it. So it's very fun for somebody um, who's into glitter and essential oils. I know they have even more. Fuck. Uh, sorry. Hold on. Whew. Okay. I know you guys could probably not see the glitter, but it is flying around in my apartment. Okay. I'm just going to move on from that. The next thing I have is these cute little singular shape and shape eyebrow uh, memory bikini line razors. There's three, they come in three different colors. Um, this is something that you could definitely either put a whole packet in or you can even split it up and divide it into three different stockings. I use these all the time for my eyebrows. I'm not a plucking fan, but I'll just like pull up right here like my eyebrow and I'll just like shave underneath it and kind of outline my brow shape and I'll definitely do it in the middle do it a little bit on my mustache um, but if you're not a shaving type or a plucking type and you just want to leave it all natural go ahead but if you know the person enjoys shaving their eyebrows and hair or whatever definitely get these they're fun they're only a dollar as well um, and they even have other types of styles and colors so I thought these are fun to add let's see what else these are always fun they have Christmas trees little ornaments I always like them. Um, it's cool to be involved in that and maybe think that you're going to get some money. Uh, the next thing is makeup wipes. So these are very thin packets, not the bulky ones. I think I got these at... I think I got these at Nordstrom Rack as well for like a couple dollars. But they have um, similar ones like this at the 99 cent store when I made my trip there. They had the Pons brand. Um, so might as well get cheaper ones. <laughs> The more the merrier. You can buy multiple ones for multiple people if you're on a budget. Um, but again, these are only a couple bucks, but they have cheaper options if you're into that. So the next thing is some masks. So these are the Masque Bar Value Pack. There's three complete masks in here. As you can see, I got these from Target. I want to say that this was like around five to six dollars. I can't really remember, but there's a red foil peel off mask, a blue peel off mask, and a holographic peel off mask. So the next item is a Starbucks gift card. This one's for $15. You can get multiple cups of coffee, drinks, pastries, whatever with this. It's something very simple to add. Of course, you can add multiple Starbucks gift cards, or multiple Starbucks gift cards, other gift cards, whatever you want. Um, but again, a Starbucks gift card is always fun to add in. So there's that. Let's go on. Ooh, this one I'm so excited about. So these are some dry shampoos. I use this all the time, especially to go. I know that they started increasing the different brands um, for these, but I mean, there's high intensity, instant hair refresh, and um, express shampooing, and like there's a blush one for flirty and fun, um, your original classic scent, and there's a tropical scent. So these are always fun to use. Um, they're very simple to buy. I mean, they're $7.99, which is cheaper than buying them individually. I got these at Marshall's. They definitely had a lot in stock when I went. I live in Los Angeles, so you know the demand is high, but I'm sure they have something very similar to, in a location where you're at. Um, and again, similar to the other options, you can split this up for three people, give this to one person, and what I'm actually gonna do is probably split this up, but um, they're fun. So the next item out of the stocking is a frosted cranberry scented candle. It's so cute. Oh, it smells just like what you would expect cranberry winter to smell like. It has a cute design on the top. 
um, and this is what I got for the women's scent. It's a little bit more sweeter. Um, my boyfriend actually likes this scent as well, so it's for anybody, to be honest. Um, but when you smell it, it's a little fruity, but it's a little bit more cinnamon, too. Um, and it just warms your heart. So this one's a fun idea to buy. As always, candles, they work out. You can never go wrong. Okay. Now I have the matching hand sanitizer. Um, this is the frosted cranberry one, antibacterial gel. Again, they're $1.75, very simple to buy. For anybody can use these. And I got this as well as Bath and Body Works. The next thing in the stocking are scrunchies. So there, I got two of them, one white, one reddish mauve, whatever, in a velvet finish. These are both the $1.99, so very inexpensive. So I also got this at Bath & Body Works. This is the oatmeal, what is this? Hand cream. Um, I actually saw somebody review this and I thought that was a really cool natural scent. Also, oatmeal is really good for hands, um, hand moisturizing, so I thought this was really cute. I think it doesn't really smell like oatmeal, to be honest. It smells more like vanilla to me. But, I mean, to all, whatever. It doesn't really matter. But they have so many different scents. Or even, you could get this at any location that they have them. CVS, uh, Marshalls has a lot of options. These are only $5. I'm sure you could find something very similar to this. Like $2. I know Ulta has a deal. I think it's 5 for 10 right now. And it's for stocking stuffers specifically. And they have $2.99 uh, nail kits. $2.99 fa face masks. Um, and they also have hand creams. So definitely check that out if you're into that and you don't want to spend $5 on hand cream. Um, I actually got this on Black Friday, so it was a little bit cheaper. You know, three for three, three buy, three you get for free. So for me, it was definitely worth it. But from others, it might not be to spend the $5. Another option that I also got was this Mario Badescu skincare. This is just facial spray. It's kind of like a, I want to say like a, toner in a way uh, that's kind of what I use it for is to help with like dark spots and like just clearing up my skin just because they have so many nourishing components to this this has aloe cucumber and green tea those are always great things for your skin I just do a couple sprays in the morning maybe even a couple at night this is five dollars but again they have a couple of options other than this green one they have a yellow one a purple one and a pink one Anyways, that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the items that I put into each stocking. Again, some of the options are listed down below just in case if you guys want to check them out. And again, if you enjoyed this, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification just to see my next videos. And again, can't wait to see you guys next time. Bye!